Hey everyone, this is Ms. Jacobson. In this video, we're going to talk about how to identify the constant of proportionality of an equation. So this first one says, what is the constant of proportionality in the following equation? And so when our equation is set up in the form of y equals k times x, it's pretty easy to tell what the constant of proportionality is. So in this case, y equals k times x, we look at this format, we look at the equation that we're given, y equals 5 over 7 times x, and so we can pretty easily tell that the number being multiplied by x is going to be the constant of proportionality. So in this case, the k value, or the constant of proportionality, has to be 5 over 7. All right, the next question says, what is the constant of proportionality in the following equation? And now we have 4y equals 12x. So this equation looks a little bit different than the last one. It's not in the same format that we saw before. Um, if we have it in the form of y equals k times x, um, that k value would be the constant of proportionality. That's the number we multiply the x value by to get to y. So if we manipulate the equation that we're given here for y equals 12x, we would be able to then easily see what the constant of proportionality is. So then in this case, we would need to solve for y. So 4 times y equals 12 times x. And so to solve for y, um, all I would need to do is think of the inverse operation. What is the opposite of multiplying by 4 in this case? So I would divide both sides of the equation by 4. So when I do that, the multiply by 4, divide by 4 is going to cancel. I'm going to be left with y equals, and then I'm going to take 12 divided by 4, which would give me 3 times x. And so then when I do that, then I am left with the form of y equals k times x. So now I'm multiplying the x value by 3 to get to the y value, and so my k value would be 3. So the constant of proportionality in this equation would be 3.